was one of the important indigenous chickens in, in Cambodia and the Cambodian counterparts, they are really interested in developing the, the, you know, the indigenous chicken. So uh, that's how we came to know that the, a, a breed called Skui, which is an indigenous chicken population, uh, is uh, available in this country, which is also a very good you know, starting material for breeding program activities. The unique situation here is uh, we are working with the farmers. So it's going to be a participatory arrangement where we have three uh, Nicholas farmers. This is one of them. ຫາວຍັງໂຕຈູບຈຸມກອດມຸງຮຽນມີດໍໄດ້ໄປກະຕິດຄລາສຄລາໃຫ້ <coughs> ถ้าปุ๋ยมอนสกุยໂດຍຈໍານວນຂອງຂອຍປົ້ນໃດໂດຍສາ This is the current generation. Uh, we are not exactly sure how many eggs they produce per year and how fast they can grow. But definitely with this chicken, we'll have uh, the baseline uh, performance, both uh, on, uh, on growth, mortality, egg production, uh, uh, probably even feed consumption or feed efficiency. And that, when that's improved, when chicken uh, consume less, and grow faster, when mortality is reduced, when the week 16 body weight is increasing every generation through selection, then that's going to be you know, the success. Um, the significance of this project, particularly this farm that we're on, is that this is the first time in Southeast Asia we have demonstrated these types of chicken production. So these chickens are all native chickens, so local genetics here from Cambodia, the Skoi chicken. And what we're trying to do is improve the genetics so that when you sell these chickens, you get more money and they produce more meat without importing breeds from other countries. So we're using the local genetics here in Cambodia to improve Ca Cambodia's uh, flock of, of native chickens. It's a very, very special project, first time in, in Southeast Asia, actually. The technology has been brought across from lessons learned in Africa um, in several countries, Ethiopia, Nigeria, Tanzania, and now we are, we are bringing this across the lessons from Africa to how do we adapt so that Cambodia can also benefit uh, from, from some of these improved breeding technologies. Everything that we do at ACR is around food security, uh, but at the same time, how can we make sure people are better fed, but also farmers are making money out of, out of these commodities. Um, in terms of this particular project, we're in the midterm review at the moment, so we're halfway through this project. An important conversation that we have at these reviews is what next? And what, what more investment can we put in to make sure that the lessons from this project, we don't just finish the project and walk away. Next, we need to think bigger. How do we scale it out? How do we take this genetic stock, take it to different parts of Cambodia to make sure that the food security is there and the livelihoods for the farmers are also secured as, as part of the project. <music>